Um, this was a stunning plaque. A stunning spot on plaque. Look, check how cool this is. Grab your phone. Scanning. Boom. -da. Check that. How sick is that? There's a reason that when we got this created, uh, I requested episode 34. Because episode 34 has a very amazing story behind it. And it's probably one of my favorite, um, it means a lot to me, you know? I'm just a deep guy. So there you go. Assalamu alaikum guys we are in the office and um, a lot of people by the way since my last vlog have been asking me for updates on uh, my eczema situation which is progressively got worse I don't want to even want to show you guys my hands in case people like are disgusted by it but you're on my vlog so it's everywhere I've, it's a bit blurry which I'm happy about but it's not even just on my hands it's very bad uh, but in terms of an update I have my dermatology appointment tomorrow, which is a phone appointment. And I thought the weirdest thing possible is that you're having a dermatology appointment but on the phone. How can a person, a specialist of skin, give you a, a real advice on your skin over the phone? Not even a video call, it's a phone call. But, 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 there is some kind of silver lining here. It's not necessarily a silver lining because I'm just... Because it doesn't make my make me my situation any better. But um, I thought I, I thought it was bad that that I was getting a dermatology appointment over the phone. <laughs> Samir said that his mum <laughs> Samir said that his mum had a physio appointment over the phone. Physio. <laughs> how is supposed to have a physio appointment over the phone? Like, what do they do? Tell you like how to stretch? It's the most craziest thing. It's, we're going crazy. So yeah, that's not necessarily self lining because that's I'm, I'm not getting happy if somebody else is suffering more than mine. But it just goes to show. I've also purchased. I purchased a cream that was recommended by one of the comments in my last vlog. Jazakallah uh, khair to the person who um, recommended it, and they said um, check out Bauman's. They said it helped a lot of people. A lot of you guys have been reaching out with lots of different natural creams and stuff that's helped. And um, if I bought them all. Uh, I probably wouldn't be able to pay my rent and so I um, have bought one of them which is Bauman's and I've been trying it for the last two days obviously my skin doesn't look any better but I've only tried it yesterday was the first day I put it on today I've got it with me I want ointment and a hand cream I also was gifted a, a cream called like the AW1 cream and so out of the two I didn't want to start one and not the other so I've started the Bauman's first but I've got both of them so I really appreciate that um, so check out Bauman's and check out AW1 I don't know I haven't used, I don't know the results yet. I'll try and keep you guys updated. Uh, all right, we've got some gifts in the office. So, first of all, I know what this is. This is a lovely company called Yella Kids. And they did say they were going to send me something uh, for my son, Zakaria, which I'm really excited about. Oh, look at this. Assalamu alaikum, Faisal. Thank you for uh, your very helpful webinar. And I hope you like Zakaria's gifts. Um, uh, Yella Kids were a part of my branding uh, webinar. Uh, if you want to share discount code with family, friends, followers, you can share FG20. FG20, guys. Uh, and for 20% off, that's extremely extremely generous thank you so much oh wow and we've got we got a, a kandora traditional thobe from the uae okay so let's check that i assume oh they sent so much it's so kind okay so this is the kandora yeah, oh you look at that that is beautiful very well oh look it's got charza holds bro then we have a dish dasha oh no but they wrote in arabic as well in arabic they said disha dishasha oh dish dasha this is a traditional thobe from Saudi. So cute. Okay, that's the Disha Dish Dasha. Ghutra, a head wrap traditionally worn by men in the Middle East. Oh look, they even wrapped it. That is so cute. Oh man. Was that real? Yeah. Look guys, so this is already done up and then you can tighten it. You know, you can tighten it for your size. It's got a little thing so it doesn't even un undo. And then lastly, the shemak, which again, so it's got a clip on it for babies. Also given really, really lovely gifts. We've got a uh, right and white Arabic letters activity book, level one. And then my giant Arabic puzzle. So I've currently got Zakaria on these uh, Arabic floor mats, which I'm trying to get him to learn Arabic. And he's, uh, if you guys watch my story, you'll see, you'll see that he's completely struggling. Oh, this is amazing. And it's so well branded. Look, everything's like Yalla Kids. It's not even like the outsourcing. <sighs> Thank you so much to Yalla Kids for them amazing gifts. Also, check this. So uh, to almost surprise, he woke up one morning the other day and found out and heard that feed sauce is featured in Vanity Fair and if we try and that's sick okay so look at that Vanity Fair magazine uh, feed sauce shot right there and there we are it says uh, follow photographer at feed source well done Omar 
Congratulations. And congratulations team. Well done, Cairo. Thank you, mate. And obviously, well done to the shooter of that image. That's the real, that's the famous thing. Nathan Rose. There we are. Well done. Congratulations. Okay, we've arrived at... Oh, look who it is. We're at the, we're getting the exclusive celebrity access to the back of the store. You coming? Thank you. Yeah. There's a barber there who's going to be cutting my hair. Was there? He's pretending like he doesn't know the camera's on him. But he knows. He knows. He'll look over in a second. Pretending. There he is. Oh, come on. Yeah, I've been alright to be honest, alhamdulillah. Yeah, I'm still trying to finesse myself for a hair transplant to be honest. Alright, alhamdulillah, all done. But I'm going to run home and shower and then head back to the office. We're back in the office and um, I was gifted this uh, candle no, I probably the new one. from Quattar called Black Tie no, from Bath no, and Body Works I price like, unknown it sounds well good though would guess how much do you think this candle costs Sam? guess can I, uh, can I smell it? I need to I can't really make it sure it smells amazing I mean, if you guys could smell through this vlog the, um, look, it looks luxury it's Bath and Body Works so. and um, it's got it's got French on it so obviously that, yeah. that adds a premium mm. doesn't it? that's, yeah. that's, mm. that's called Black Tie which in Punjabi is Gala was how did you tie in Punjabi, Omar? Sorry? How did you tie in Punjabi? It's a good question. Kala tie. Tie. <laughs> tie, yeah. Kala. I don't know because I've never had to wear my tie on my Sarvaki. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had to wear my tie I'm going to say, I'm going to say between, I'm going to say between 10 to 15 pounds at least. 10 to 15 pounds, Sam, with that hefty price. Let's have a look. Oh, here we go, bro. Actually, Are you ready? You said how much? 10 to 15 pounds. I was just saying, how much? Sam said 10 to 15 pounds. <laughs> Uh, it's in dollars, so let me convert it. Or was it Canadian dollars or US dollars? Are they the same? No, US dollars. They're not the same. You said 10 to 15? But see, now I know it's Bath and Body Works. It's going to be like pound 50. Did you say 10 to 15? Yeah. Oh, is it? Is it a joke? No, Bath and Body, no, Bath Body Works is Bro, this stuff is it's so good value. Cream said his Bath and Body Works is a joke. I thought Bath and Body Works is like uh, upper, cla <laughs> upper class. Am I wrong? I don't know. I no, 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 no. It's not like your, it's, it's like way less than your like, Molten Browns and stuff like that. What's Molten Brown? <laughs> Morton Brown. Okay, anyway. What about rituals? You Sam, rituals? Samuel, Sam, Samir. I love rituals. Not Samuel, Samir. Yes. Too strong. You said 10 to 15 pounds. Yes, I did. The true price. The true price. Of the black tie candle from Bath and Body Works was is 10 pounds 70 sam with that amazing uh, estimation that's incredible uh, you know what amazing work thank my parents 10 pounds 70 for being here on this journey that's all for filming me i'm i'm proud so know that when i go and buy you that that i would have spent 10 pounds 70 on you which is a lot for for uh, no, uh, someone to buy uh, a gift for not even a colleague, a a a an, an office sharer. So just know that how low you are on the totem pole. Yeah, I'm about to spend a huge chunk of my budget for my holiday spending on you. You know what? Tell how do you even survive with that much generosity? <laughs> but you know, I know you, struggle. I know you like candles. You're uh, just like just like myself on your desk yeah. when you're working, and so I would like to do that for you. I'm gonna buy one for myself as well. So that's actually twenty pounds, twenty one pounds, forty, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah, guys, here's a fun fact. Uh, we'll end with this because there's not really been any narrative to this vlog as with the last one. <laughs> <laughs> It should be like loads of footage of like me opening packages and like going out to get a haircut. I but, just like the vlogging again. Yeah, I like it as well. So here's a fun fact. Sam, uh, back in my GCSE days, used to teach me math. Isn't that right? He's shooting me. So he he's got he's got something under that noggin. Yeah. And uh, I uh, uh, I in my in my in my GCSE mock I got a D no E a D and in my actual exam a couple months later got a B. A beef for brilliant. But the, the candle's still too much. Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna end it here. Take care of yourselves. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi.